Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, JC, Every Thoughts. Everyone to gather around should be going today. Today's topic is the importance of being evenly, evenly yoked with your mate. My thing is being evenly yoked with your mate, uh, whether it's your husband, your wife, your spouse, is very important because that's something that you may lean on because if you guys are not spiritually entwined, then everything else pretty much is going to fall in place. Meaning you guys aren't connecting with God. You guys are not walking side by side. You guys are not um, submitting to God together faithfully. Then you guys are not going to be successful as a team, as a unit. Because God is the type of person that controls everything in your lifetime. Because you're not, you guys are both not on the same page. Meaning you may be atheist or he may be atheist or you may be a Christian. He, he or she may be a Muslim. It's not going to work itself out because you guys aren't, don't have the same core values. And my thing is having core values, having standards is different than having a preference. Having a different preference is, hey, I'm a Falcons fan. You know, that's a football team. And if my wife, she's, she, if, if she was a Saints fan, that's something we can work on. But something we cannot work on is us not praying together, not walking side by side, and praying to God, and us devoting our time to God, us uh, doing youth groups us trying to you know be in a ministry that's something that we're trying to accomplish as a couple as a unit and we cannot do that if both people if me and my wife my wife and i we're not on the same page we're not on the same wavelength that's why it's so important to really go out here and date with a purpose because that should be one of your first questions you ask the person is hey what's your spiritual belief are you tithing are you part of a youth group are you part of you know your church and yeah, understanding that everybody's religion is different least not everybody wants to go to church everybody has their own way of um, praying and giving their self to the Lord but it is very vital that if you if you don't go to church you're not a small group um, that you are reading your Bible each and every day or at least three four times out the week I mean you know having Bible studies etc way before you meet your your spouse because it's about preparation because like God says, you have to prepare in the darkness. You know what I'm saying? It's all good to go to church every now and again. You know, it's all cool, you know, to read a scripture every now and then, but how is your faith when the, when the lights are out, when it's just you by yourself? Are you constantly praying? Are you constantly giving yourself out to the Lord? If the question is no, then guess what? You're not ready for marriage. You're not ready for a long-term relationship. And the reason why you're not ready is because you haven't committed to yourself personally you have committed to God. You cannot ask God to bless you with a husband. You cannot bless you cannot ask God to bless you with a wife. You're not doing or doing God's for necessary to feel fulfilled within the this time frame. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with what you want out of this situation because God has everything in place and you you have to do the work necessary for anything to happen. I mean, like when one of my pastor says, he says, hey, he'll give you the steering wheel. He may steer, but you have to at least turn the engine on and at least guide the car. He may have the steering wheel, but the steering wheel is not going to go anywhere if you're not, if you're not turning the engine on, you're not filling up your gas tank, you're not actually putting your, putting get your foot to the pedal. God's not going to work that way. God's not going to be able to bless you if you don't put the work in it. You know, everybody wanted to talk about, everybody wants to talk about, I'm waiting on God, God is sending me the signal. He's not going to send you the, send the signal if you're, if you're laid back, you're not really engaged, and you're not really putting the work into anything. I mean, any kind of business. I mean, you're not putting the work in, you're not sacrificing, you're not really ready to read, to devote yourself to whatever you're trying to accomplish, then you're not ready, and you need to focus on that before you can focus on anything else. Because whatever relationship you have with the Lord, that's what you need to focus on. You know, focus on the Lord, focus on trying to give back, focus on your tithing, focus on getting your mind frame right. Then, like I said, and then naturally stuff happens. I mean, I know me personally, I had to make sure I was tithing. I had to make sure I was going to church faithfully. I had to make sure I was reading my Bible, I was reading scriptures. I waited for my wife, so... You gotta put the work in, you know, I'm a testimony. I'm a testimony. I went, I went through all the tests. I had all, you know, lonely days, lonely nights, 
they really have a spouse, but hey, I still kept with it, stay persistent, and guess what? Like I said, I have a wife. We go on two years of marriage. We already have a one-year-old daughter, so hey, everything's going well for me. So I'm, you know, and I think everything, I get everything, all the glory to God, because that's my purpose in life: is to glorify a lot, is to, is to glorify God and love Him forever. That's my purpose in life: is to do everything God's way. He's blessing me with a beautiful family, beautiful wife, beautiful daughter and the best is yet to come because i keep being disciplined and i'm self-aware of that i have to make sure i'm submitted to him that means uh giving up time you know watching football to go in there and go into my bible go into my notes hey that's what i'm gonna do because he comes first over everything he's the one that's blessing everything in my life and everything going to perfection all because of him so yeah that's all i have to say you must be evenly yoked. That's very essential when dating, marriage, that is essential. And that's something I will write a blog about. But yeah, though, I mean, I do have a book called The Gentleman Code. I would appreciate you for, um, you would purchase it. I mean, it's all about be doing the right way, you know, God's way. Be a gentleman, be, you know, show chivalry. Uh, be a man of God, be a man of purpose and discipline. But yeah, though, that's all I have to say. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, TikTok. YouTube, Amazon, you know, you want a copy of the book, I'll have a link below where you can purchase my book, uh, Gentleman Code. So until next time, I'm out. JC, everything. Thoughts.